All right, we got something a little different today. We got hand loads from a subscriber. He actually asked me to put it through the 570 and the Beretta. So here we are, stay tuned. So a subscriber actually hand loaded these and sent them to the channel for us to test, see how we thought of it. Um, what I do know is he sent the recipes for 20 and 12 gauge. They're both seven and a half shot as he can only shoot seven and a half. So he can't shoot smaller than that. But I do know this is a three inch shell with an ounce and five eighths of seven and a half shot. And it's going 1167 feet per second. As the papers do say, it actually breaks down uh, how they're loaded and all the components, but uh, that wouldn't be very friendly to share that with you. So we're gonna take and shoot this. So what we do know, is all that we need to know but i, I like it bco <laughs> but once again bud you know who you are thanks for sending these also i like the bco on there as well but we have the breda a300 we have the indian creek 570 in there he asked to see this at 40 yards so we're going to shoot that target on the right side and see how this load performs now keep in mind Seven and a half, there's gonna be a lot less shot than what we're used to with nines or even tens. But some states, as in his state, seven and a half is as small as he can shoot. So always make sure you know what size shot you can take a field. This is as small as he get as he can shoot. So let's see what it does at 40. Okay, so breakdown again. We have a subscriber's hand loads. This is a three inch. 1167 feet per second, ounce and five eighths to seven and a half shot in the Beretta A300 Ultima with the Indian Creek 570 as he asked to see. We're at 40 yards to the tip of the choke. So let's see how this does. Wow. That looks really good for seven and a half shot. Yeah, there's quite a bit of shot right, or, right in the middle of the neck. That shot pretty true. I was I, That's where I was aiming. Middle of the neck? Yeah, just under the head. All right, so that looks pretty good from here. Let's go sharpie it and see just how good that hand load did in the Indian Creek 570. So once again, that was the subscriber's hand loads. He asked to see it out of that Indian Creek 570. So we put it on. That was a three inch shell of seven and a half shot. And you're gonna see real quick <laughs> the difference between a nine shot TSS load and a seven and a half. But this was going 1167, once again, Breda A300, Indian Creek 570 at 40 yards. And you can tell there's a lot less shot in there. But this shot was pretty well centered. You have a ton in the five, you have a bunch in the 10. Really, you have a couple flyers, but for a seven and a half shot load, this is actually really impressive. Now you don't have the shot like you do in a nine shot, but you have to think too. I mean, these seven and a halfs, they're, they're hitting this old joker real hard. You got a ton going up through the spine. You got some in the brain. You uh, don't really have any leeway, but then again, it's seven and a half shot. You do have kind of a funky pattern outside in the full pattern, but looking at the core, I mean, it's it's actually better than I thought it was going to be, but thank God we can shoot <laughs> nine shot now in New York. So in New York last year, we could only hunt with eights. That was the smallest, so it was a little bit more shot, but we know these patterns pretty well. Now seven and a halfs, yeah, that'll be, that would be mean on them. I mean, that performed pretty dang good for a seven and a half shot load. So I have to say, bud, you got it. You got her going, that's for sure. I know this is what he's hunting with, so he wanted to see this Indian Creek and see how it shot this load. But I gotta say, it did pretty good, but it's crazy when you, you look at all these nine shot, 10 shot loads, and then you shoot a seven and a half, which is getting close to your lead loads. Man, the patterns are just different. But that actually is a pretty good seven and a half shot load at 40 yards. I mean, you only got a couple flyers. You got a lot in that five, a lot in the 10, but outside of that it gets kind of funky. But he did send us five shells in 20 gauge loaded this way. And then he sent five shells in 12 gauge for us to pattern on the channel. 
we're going to get to it more and more and just see what kind of chokes and what kind of guns really like this seven and a half. But I got to say, guys, I know it looks completely different than nine shot, but that's pretty damn good pattern with a seven and a half shot in a TSS load. I mean, especially a 20 gauge is a lot less shot, but there's a ton in that five and ton in the 10. And I mean, that's a dead turkey every time in that setup. But I gotta say, I am thankful we can shoot nines because it's crazy. The pattern density just ain't the same. But thank you for sending those, bud. I hope, I hope this is what you're looking for. We are gonna put it through a, duff, a ton of different guns and chokes with what we have. We got four more setups we can test and five more in 12 gauge. But guys, as always, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Smash the thumbs up button. Share these videos in all your turkey groups. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that notification bell. Turn it on to all as we're dropping a ton of tests. I mean, two a day for almost seven days a week. It's really insane how much content we push out. So notification bell, you won't miss out on any of them. It's pretty cool. Subscribers sending some hand loads of pattern on the channel. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. We got more to film, so as always, we'll catch you on the next one. What a difference between seven and a half and nines, but that is one dead turkey. Take her easy.